All right, so today we're gonna replace the hub bearing on the Lexus RX 330 I got here and it's on the rear. I already uh, did the driver's side. I'm gonna do the passenger side next. Here's some of the stuff I'm gonna be using. So, got a jack stand of course. Need a heavy hammer, I couldn't find my sledge. So I'm using my maul. And um, some PB blaster, slide brake lubricant for the uh, slide pins. Got some Loctite, got that breaker bar. You know, those leverage bars right there. It's a big uh, one for, to break that uh, axle bolt free. The, um, got, so we've got screwdrivers chisels, half inch breaker bar, 3 8 breaker bar, a little extension for the 3 8 We got a 17 millimeter socket and a, a 14 millimeter socket. This axle bolt um, is 30, it's 30 millimeter 12 point and I got that on a, uh, on the um, torque wrench. And then I wrote down some of the specs here. The, um, I don't know about, the, on the right hand side of the torque uh, values, I got those off of the internet and I don't know if they're accurate. So, and then here of course is the uh, the bearing. There's your, uh, this is the part number I got it from. It said NSK was the uh, OEM on Parts Geek, so I, I got it. A little concerned about that bluing right there. Looks like it's remanufactured it. I don't know. No, whatever. It looks new. Looks like a nice piece stamp NSK. Uh, all right, so uh, I chalked the wheels. I'm going to uh, loosen those. I uh, take the wheel off and then we'll get to it. All right, so got the wheel off. There's the hub nut that I gotta get off there, the axle, the axle nut, okay? Now, the rotor's gotta come off and the brake caliper's gotta come off. First thing you gotta do is take these slide pins out and then there's also the caliper um, assembly nuts. There's one there and one there. You gotta get those two out, top and bottom. So there's four bolts you gotta get out of there. I'm gonna put a little PB blaster on there. I'm gonna take those off and then we're gonna take this off. Now to get this off sometimes the emergency brake binds up okay so what you gotta do is take this piece out right here. It's a little rubber thing that'll pop out pretty easily. I think we can get that out of there. Okay and then that's gotta get spun down to six o'clock so when we spin that down i'm not gonna do it right now well all right fine whatever it's working you're gonna go down to six o'clock oh and if you can look in, if you can see in there i think you can see in there there is a star wheel and in this in the star wheel i'm just gonna put this screwdriver in there and start working it down and that's gonna free and believe me, you're gonna want to do that. You can always, if it really gets, if it's if it's if it's frozen, you can put a uh, a nut in there. It's an eight millimeter. You want to get it about yay long. I don't know, 50 millimeters. That's an eight millimeter. You can screw that in and pop that out. But it's pretty important to work that that star wheel down before you go and try to get this thing off. All right, let me get this piece off. This, this piece off. All right, I just realized that there's absolutely no reason to take these slide pins out of the caliper, okay? No reason. I, I took the whole assembly off. That's a, a 17 millimeter, and off it comes, and it's out of my way, and that's, that's all I needed. And then, miraculously, this, this, let's see if I can do this. Whatever. That just slid right off. The other side was a pain in the neck, but there you can see, I think you can see this, the star wheel right here. Okay, so that would have 
have been what I would have been aiming for to go underneath there. Now, what I gotta do now is see this indentation right here? I don't know if you can see it well. It, it's such that it's no longer rounded, right? So that's supposed to, I guess, keep that uh, nut from going around. And so you gotta, we gotta pry that up. And I'm gonna do so with a, a nail punch, or a punch anyway, and, uh, and and work that up. On my other side, I went in too deep as I was doing it and started hacking into the threads. That wasn't great. And then I don't know if I got it up high enough and it started to bang up these the threads on the way out. Uh, it didn't seem to affect it when I was putting it back on, but um, obviously something to avoid if you can. Uh, so I'm gonna start working uh, a punch into there and then we'll um, then we'll put the uh, tire back on, lower it down and don't forget your jack stand. Um, we'll lower it back down and then break that free. Okay, so I don't know if I've done it. I started with this punch and tried to work it up on both sides and then work this punch into it to see if we could get that up there hitting it with the hammer and now I think what I'm seeing here are the threads right there but I don't know it's just a kind of it's kind of dicey you gotta get that up though. I think I think that's what we need. It's gonna let's give it a go. Okay, so there's the half inch breaker bar and the uh, I don't know, this thing's probably five feet tall or so. Um, this thing worked, I broke that free. Now I pretty sure I can get it with my yeah, it'll come that'll come off. Now I'm just hopeful that the uh that work i did on the inside oh by the way when you get the tire off take the cap out it, you know it pops out from the other side don't try to get it from this side you'll mess up the uh the wheel but um now i'm just gonna try and work that that nut free a little bit uh and then um actually i'm gonna take it off and then uh i'll take it from there okay so there it is where I, you can see that they, um, it was bent up well, and I, it looks like I just started getting into the thread. You see that? The other, on the other side, believe me, I, uh, I messed that that up, not horribly, so it didn't ruin the thread there. But you gotta be careful of that. That's messed up, and I don't think you're supposed to reuse this. But I, I didn't realize that, and I didn't get new ones, and so I'll have to replace those afterwards. But um, anyway, there it is. And so now uh, we're gonna take this back off and get to work on that hub. We we'll jack this, jack this thing back up, and get the uh, the jack stand back in. Okay. These. Um, now it's off, and here's, I don't know how close I can get for this. It, you can see that it looks like these things got flattened off, off a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be a game changer or that's a stupid thing. I, I don't think it's gonna be a deal breaker is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I think we're all right. And then as you can see, uh, where it really matters in there, we're in good shape. So next, you can see in here, that, that bolt right through that hole that's what we got to get there's four of them two three four and you just gotta line these holes up they don't do perfect you can get two at a time you know if you go like this I should be able to get those two with that and then spin this over and get the other two or I don't know spin this around it probably gets but anyway that's what you got to do you got to get in there and I think those are those are 17 millimeter as well and so that's when Where's my extension? We'll get my extension on there. Get that in here. I'm gonna use the breaker bar on this thing. But yeah, you gotta get 
gotta get in there. No worries. Get my breaker bar on that. Get my uh, little leverage bar. And that'll work, okay? No problem. Let's get to it. Okay, look what uh, Toyota did, or Lexus, whatever. They they lined it up. So you see these are two, these are wider, these are tighter. Lines right up. Nice. All right, so those four bolts are out. And now this thing, this whole piece, re really you just want the, you know, the hub assembly to come out, right? But it is corrosion and everything that's holding this thing in. It's also being held in place by this, the axle, which runs, you know, through here. See, it's, it's, it goes all the way back up there. Now, as you can see, there's a boot there and a boot here, okay? Can you see that? That boot right there? Okay, so in, if you've ever seen inside a, a CV joint, that, that's flexible uh, to a certain extent. There's, you know, it goes in and out. It's supposed to go in and out these, you know, the, 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 the whole, this whole shock need a new shock, but need, need th this whole strut goes up and down and th that whole piece has to move. And so that can, this can move in. So you gotta give that a whack right there. Best way to do that is put the ball peen hammer right here you know so you're not hacking up these threads you put it right there right inside that little pin right there and then give the other end a whack with the uh, sledgehammer if you got a if you got a three pound sledge you can swing with your hands much easier than what I'm using today but uh, anyway that's the idea is you're gonna we're gonna give that a whack Let's see want to do that you just want to go like that and give that a whack and then uh, that should pop in then this whole piece is gonna have to free up and then you're gonna have th this will get we can knock it out from behind um, but anyway we'll see what happens once I get um, this thing out of the way all right okay so this thing was all stuck back here all right, and so I came in with my chisel, jammed it in here, hit it a few times with the hammer, and off this thing came. And off, you know, did it on both sides, okay? And here it comes, and now this thing's gonna come free. Gotta be careful for that brake cable. But this thing's all gonna come free, and you see that axle nut right there? I mean, the axle is, is right there, and you can see it right there moving around. In there okay so this thing's all gonna come right off of here okay. and once that comes off of there I'm gonna be able to see if I can do this without screwing everything up okay there. Now I'm gonna eesh, break. Okay. Now I'm just gonna give this a whack with the hammer, and that hub is gonna come right out of there. I can do this without breaking stuff. It's supposed to. take a little bit more than I'm thinking. I might have to get in here and knock that away with. I'm gonna have to wedge this up. But you see this? See? I think, oof, what the hell? That's gotta be in there like that. I like the way that sounds. Should stay right there. Sorry about the angle. 
All right, but anyway, this thing can push in and out. Okay, anyway, I shut this off, I need two hands. Okay, so here it is, out. There, it comes out. This was all popped up, came up. This all, was all up and through here, right? Hit it, good and hard. Out it came, and that's what I'm left with. And so now, this is all gonna go back on here with the new hub. And uh, it's all good. Just gotta make sure those tines all line up and, and and screw it in, and then just reverse the process, and and you're good to go. Yeah, we're home free at this point. All right. All right. Good. Okay. <clears throat> New hub is in. So far, I got this thing started. The axle nut. Now. It's gonna spin, so I gotta get the tire back on, get this down on the ground, but there's no point in putting the tire back on without putting the rotor back on and the brake assembly and everything like that. Then get the tire on um, and then tighten this thing down. Uh, you really should bend that back in. I'm not going to, because I'm gonna replace these. Um, I'm gonna get some new ones and come back out here and replace them. So right now today I'm not gonna bend it back. But um, one thing I wanted to point out is when you're putting this back, when you're putting the rotor in, this rotor has got this hole right that we took the that rubber plug out of. That's got to line up with something, you know, one of these holes. So just make sure you you think about that. Um, I think it's probably gonna be like. Uh, Maybe this one? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. So this thing's gotta go on here. And, right, come on. See that? Bingo. Okay, so that you can get it next time. This thing, there we go. Let's see if the sunlight gets us in there. Yeah. Okay, so good. Now I'm going to um, put the brake assembly back on, make sure everything's tightened down, torqued down, to tie it back on, and uh, I think that's it. Okay, so it's done. So here's, here's um, what I, a couple of things I learned. All right, first of all, it took, it took about eight, eight hours and 35 minutes to do both sides. That includes uh, cleaning up twice, because I did it last night and, and this morning, setting up twice, um, test drive, the battery ran down, the thing's got to be in neutral, so you can spin the hub, and so I had to leave the key on accessories, and for some reason the, the battery ran dead twice, so that took a while, so I, you know, if I was going to have to do one right now, I would leave two and a half hours for it. And I think that would be all right. Um, I made some mistakes on the first side. I pulled apart the brakes, including those slide pins. They took, it took me an hour to get the bottom slide pin back in. Don't take those apart. Um, and anyway, I, I think two and a half hours would, would cover it. Um, so anyway, I hope it works out for you. We'll see you next time.